Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to figure rafters for a gambrel roof, or most people call them a barn roof. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, if you call, follow a few basic rules, you can figure them out pretty easily. Um, they can get more difficult. Um, the main thing is your barn or structure should be even an even foot. So like I, my example here is 12 feet. So you might want to keep it at 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 feet. And your numbers will work uh, a lot better. I mean, you can do it with others, but these just make it easier if you use an even number. Okay, so figuring out this first rafter right here. Okay, so um, when you figure these out, you can use whatever slopes you want. Um, I figured, I'm figuring mine on 1812 for the lower and a 412 on the upper. Okay, so the slope just means that it's the unit rise over the unit run. It's in inches. So over here I show my slope angles. I have an 1812 that figures out to be 56.3 degrees. If you want to figure that angle in your calculator, you're going to have your opposite angle over your adjacent angle. Inverse tangent, so I'm figuring this angle, so this is my opposite, this will be my adjacent, um, and then I use inverse tangent. Now, the calculator that I'm using is a TI-30XA, it's like $10 at Walmart, um, so you can figure it out, go and get one, and it's really easy to figure this out. Okay, my other angle for my upper is going to be a 412, and I figured it out to be 18.4 degrees. Again, I'm using the same equation, opposite over adjacent. So opposite over adjacent gives me that angle right there, and that would be 18.4 degrees. Okay, now how do we figure lengths? Well, we're going to use the 1812. So for the for the vertical height, we're going to take 18 times 2 and get 36. And for the bottom part, we're going to take 18 times, or excuse me, 12 times 2 and get 24. So my distance from the outer edge of my building in 24 inches, and then up to that point right there will be 36 inches. Okay. Now, to figure this rafter length, all I have to do is use... Uh, Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and let's see where I do that over here. So I have a squared plus b squared. So I take 24 squared plus 36 squared will give me the length of c squared if I take the square root of it. So in your calculator, it's 24 x to the two plus 36 x to the two equals. Then I'm going to take the square root to get 43.26 inches. So this distance from this point, from this point right here to that point right there is 43.26 inches. Okay. Now I'm going to find my other one over here, my other length, so I'm going to find this one. So this time I'm going to use 48 squared plus 16 squared gives me c squared and if you use the same put it in the same way with the the number x squared plus the number x squared equals and then you hit the square root button it will give you 50.59 inches so then this one will be 50.59 inches from this point to that point Okay, and since this is a symmetrical, this one will be equal to that one, and this one will be equal to that one. So you've already figured out all four rafter lengths. <clears throat> now, what angles do you cut them at? Okay, so let's look at this one first. We figured that that angle over there was 56.53, but we don't cut it at 56.53 because it would put it up like that. Uh, so what we do is we take 90, and we subtract 56.3, and that gives us 33.7 degrees. So this cut then, you would cut this end of the rafter at 33.7 degrees. Okay. Um, let's go up to this one. This one's an easy one. Since this is on a 412, we're going to cut that peak at 412 on a 
using your speed square, you just put it on a common four, and you've got that right there. Okay, so that leaves these two right here. What do I put these two angles together so that they match? Well, we come over here. We figured this angle was 56.3 degrees, and we figured that this angle was 18.4 degrees. So if we know our right triangle, then that makes this one 33.7 degrees. And then, of course, this will be a right angle also. So over here, I took 18.4 degrees. I added 33.7 degrees, and I added 90 degrees for a total of 142.1 degrees. Then I'm going to divide that by 2, and that gives me 71.1 degrees. Now you can't cut them on 71.1 because that's a really steep angle. So again, we're going to take 90 minus 71.1 and we're going to get 18.9 degrees. So each of these angles, the one, the bottom one on here and the top one on here are going to be cut at 18.9 degrees so that they will meet up point to point. Okay? And basically, that's all there is to figuring rafters for a gambrel slash barn roof, okay? Like I said, if you keep your numbers even, it's easier. Um, if you had a, an odd number, then you're just going to have to work with decimals more often, okay? Um, so, anyway. First thing you do is find your angles, find your distances, and then you can figure out what to cut them at based on the angles that you figured up in the beginning. Okay, so 56.3, subtract that from 90. This one's at cut at 33.7. This one's cut on the 412. This one is this angle which is 33.7 because this one and this one have to equal 90. So 90 minus 56.3 is 33.7 plus 90 plus this one divided by 2 subtracted from 90 will give me 18.9 and then you will have those two angles so they match right up to do that. Okay. Um, here in a little bit I'm going to be doing another video to show you how to assemble the gambrel roof, okay? And that's it for the gambrel roof.